So on 1781 at your town, the Imperial Red Coast have arrived. And today on the show called Hysteria, Toast has decided to see Val Kittyton and Steeper the Horse. We're not happy. Hey, this tax is unfair! We won't pay. Like, I was arrested for having bad manners, which is a very serious offense in Aztec society. Larry H. Patoltec managed to get me sold into slavery. Thanks, Larry, dude. You rock, man! I've picked three dollars worth of silver. Potato. Ugh. It looks like the tea drinking dude is coming this way with, like, a whole bunch of other dudes. Yeah, but don't sweat it. They look really small, so they're still pretty far away. Doesn't look like those guys have made any progress at all. Check it out. They're still really far away. Now watch me, horse. This is how you ski jump. Oh, total difference. Bummer. Oh, dear. Oh, I'm right here, Your Honor, dude. Sorry I'm late and stuff. I would have been here sooner, but I couldn't find my briefs. That's totally bogus, Your Most Honorishness. I call Chochoyas to the stand. See, Mr. Nelson? I knew it would work. Oh my gosh, Pippi! Pippi, look! That's right. I never taught him how to stop. Well, I'm sure he'll stop somewhere. And then he'll be really glad he learned how to ski. Although, maybe I better see where he went. Look no further, dude. You found me. I got a letter for you right here. Check it out, bro. Ed McMahon says you may already be a winner. Stickers! Awesome! That's right. He might run over someone. Maybe he'll run over Banked. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Did anyone happen to see... There you are, horse. Well, no harm done. You deserve a snack. Excellent. That's totally crafty, dude. Whoa! You guys must be psychic. How'd you know I was a British man? Who cares? I think he talks funny. Where's he from, anyway? Mars? Check it out. You're still really far away. I'm here, I got my bike fixed. Am I in the right place? Bro, do not go there. My number's, like, a lot higher. No kidding, Ton! Let's go next door and get some snackage. If you want to use the skis, wait your turn! I gotta rent it for another half hour! Yo, dude, the food court's awesome! They got chimichangas on a stick! Wanna bite? Hurry up! That reminds me. Did I ever tell you about Hurry Up Hernandez? <laughs> That's what they used to say to hurry up! Isn't that a coincidence? Anyway, never mind. It's the spirit that counts. Yeah, but Bank's still going... You never know. Something unexpected could always happen. Jaw! A jaw! Righteous! Okay, maybe we'll give you a discount on some of them. Relax, everybody! Look what Frogo made! What? Thank you, Panama Teddy. You've saved hundreds of canal workers from deadly diseases. Not so funny now, is it, Ben? Wind's picking up. Whoa! Trick question! Uh, sorry about your noggin, Mr. Tesla, dude. Uh, about a million? Can we have our ball back now? It's 10 a.m. What are you, some kind of bum? I've picked three dollars worth of silver. We've got to get up to Canada's Klondike. Totally excuse us, Captain Dude, but it's time for us to clean out your quarter. Adam's movies are not bombs, man. They rock. Happy Gilmore rules. Hey, kid, good work. I'd have done it myself, only I had a dental appointment with my carpenter. We should talk about your promotion. You all deserve promotions, but I got something even better. This is starting to be a real pain in the donkey. Thank you! Thank you, General Washington! I call him Stairs in a Mirror. Sir, we have prisoners. You want them eliminated? Load the cannon! Demolitions unit, on my signal! Now! What the? Now that's a kickoff! The tea drinking dude is coming this way with, like, a whole bunch of other dudes. 
cow, but don't sweat it. They look really small, so they're still pretty far away. <laughs> Those dudes really want custard. This might be a really good time to leave. Ah! And it's in the end zone for a score. Ooh. And we're back to the battle. Great quotes are blitzing, Pat. It's a gutsy move. Let's see if it pays off. Come on! Play with somebody your own size, Torch! Load it. You're the general. Well, Emperor General, dude, doesn't look like those guys have made any progress at all. Check it out. You're still really far away. We've been standing under this mean old sun doing nothing but getting hot and hungry. Now come with it. Give us some custard. But solid, bro. I'll take a cookie dough deluxe with gummy worm sprinkles. Yes, no. We'll finish, coach. The job is done. No, no, no. You stupid mutt. Why, I... I... Oh? After the Battle of Yorktown, Mal Kidderton and George Washington have won the war against Charles Cornwallis and Benedict Arnold. Hey, remember dudes, no matter how you fight your battles, war stinks. Hey, Captain! We just ran out of water! Land ho! This was the home of the President of the United States! Hiya! If you want to use the skis, wait your turn! I gotta rent it for another half hour! Perhaps I chose the wrong side. I surrender. <laughs> Cornwallis and the British surrendered on October 19, 1781. The battle for independence was won. Like I always say, honesty is the best policy. I believe that, and that's why I, I cannot, cannot tell a lie. Oh, George, give it a rest, will ya? Huh? You're a politician. If your lips are moving, you're lying. That's so. Which is a very serious offense in Aztec society. Larry H. Patoltec managed to get me sold into slavery. Thanks, Larry, dude. You rock, man. Uh, frankly, I'm thrilled. Washington, Washington, he's our man. Water for everyone! On October 20th, 1781, John Andre and Loud Kittyton has returned to Philadelphia. If you ratify the Constitution, you can look forward to a civil war between the states! A federal bureaucracy that can't even deliver the mail on time! And enough laws to make your head spin! And so, the American colonies took a decisive step towards independence from England with the Articles of Confederation, a set of laws which held the 13 colonies together. Maximum thankage to Dr. Joseph Guillotine, one of the inventor dudes of the guillotine and a nasty salad chef. Join me again next time on Hysteria. Till then, I am history. We are not happy. Thank you. Thank you.